Hi, everybody. Yeah, this is Lawrence Chan here. I uh, just want to share with you uh, my testimony, my journey in life weight. Uh, before that, I want to uh, add that uh, this is not a medical claim. Okay. Uh, especially now we are talking about cancer. Uh, we cannot make any medical claims. Okay. Live weight may be a, a medical device and it's a class one. So it, it we are not a, allowed to make any medical claims. Okay. Just understand that you still need to consult your doctor. Okay. Uh, back in August 2020, that's uh, about uh, more than two years ago, I was diagnosed with UTI, urinary tract infection. So uh, during that time, uh, it was I was very difficult to control my urine. Uh, the minute I, I need to go, I just need to go. I, I cannot hold and everything. So it's a lot of inconvenience. And when I went to my uh, GP, he told me it's very unusual because uh, usually UTI is uh, uh, the female gets it. Usually the male don't get it. So it was a bit uh, unusual, he said. So he gave me some antibiotics and uh, and somehow it, it, it went away, fortunately. And then, but hum, however, in December, uh, about three months later, yeah, about two, more than three months later, uh, 2020, the UTI came back again. Okay. So I was wondering, how come can it come back again? Then I went back to the same GP and this time he says, uh, something is serious because if you, if, if I get it twice, I, he needs to send me to the urologist. So he gave me a, a slip to see the urologist in Changi and uh, the doctor checked me and he gave me many tests. Okay. Uh, one of the tests was uh, a digital rectal examination. Also gave me a ultrasound, ultrasound test. Okay. And also did the long, long machine, what you call that, uh, a CD scan. So he did, he did a CD scan on me also, and also a PSA test. So, so with uh, all these tests, he diagnosed and told me that I have a uh, prostate cancer. When I heard that I had prostate cancer, I was like, uh, actually really blur and devastated because, uh, being in a health, health arena, I always tell people, uh, in Singapore, one in three person is going to get cancer, right? So happens to be I'm that 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 three or the, or that one so to, so to speak so it's pretty scary and uh, so I asked the doctor so uh, okay so what are you gonna do next what's the treatment for this prostate cancer he said uh, first I need to see uh, stage what cancer are you in we well, need to go for a biopsy okay and when I heard biopsy only I was saying oh my god biopsy because I heard a uh, few friends also, right, on biopsy, when they were to uh, uh, go and dig, dig the, the prostate out, uh, they actually peed blood for, I think, two more than two weeks. And, and it's very painful after that. So the word biopsy sounds very mild to you all, right? But actually, it uh, can be pretty serious. So nonetheless, I, uh, I said, then what next? Then he says, after finding out stage one cancer, we're going to have this uh, MRI. MRI is uh, uh, more accurate than CT scan. So it can tell you exactly where the cancer is. So, I okay, I said, then, then after that, then he said, after that, we do radiotherapy, we'll kill the cancer. So, uh, as you all, some of you may know that uh, doing a radiotherapy it's gonna kill the cancer as well as kill all the good cells around, right? So it's, it's, it has a lot of side effects. Uh, neither would I want to do uh, chemo. You say if need to, you, you may, may need to do chemo. So I I, I just somehow just went blank and I said, ah, no, no, not. I I think I want to uh, think about it. So he what he did is gave me a three month uh, appointment. He said anytime you you are ready, do come back. Okay. So during that three months, I uh, spoke to with, uh, James and Janet, uh, spoke to my family also, and we didn't really think, uh, didn't really know what to do next. We consult a lot of uh, people. 
somehow we came to a conclusion that uh, maybe it's good that uh, I reverse some of my diet, right? I, I used to love, I, I love uh, meat and all that. I don't take vegetables. So maybe that's what got me. And so I did a lot of uh, uh, juicing on uh, raw vegetables, kale and all that. Um, also did a lot of uh, uh, health products also, actually. So within that three months that I did, I, I spent maybe, I think I was selling them close to $2,000 every month. And somehow when I went back uh, on the third month, the cancer markers went down and I was pretty happy with it. The doctor wasn't really impressed. He said he still need to go for the, the test and treatment. Somehow I said no, since it's working. And he gave me another appointment three months later. So after, so happily, I, I continued my uh, self-treatment. Uh, and on the sixth month, maybe the third month after the second appointment, uh, I went back and the cancer marker went up to my horror. Okay, so that means uh, what I did uh, somehow didn't quite work, right? So I was at loss, and uh, that's the time when we 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 thought uh, uh, life is gonna end soon. So we become very religious. So I actually prayed to God, and uh, asked Him to find me a solution, and that if he, if if He cannot find me a solution, uh, I asked Him to take me home as soon as possible because I also didn't want to be a burden to my family. Uh, be it uh, be, uh, health or financially. But uh, God is great, right? God uh, somehow introduced me to, uh, to, to, to Janet, this gentleman from Hong Kong. He introduced me to LifeWave, right? Introduced her to LifeWave and she asked, uh, at the same time when James was having this vertigo, he asked us, to, well, why don't give LifeWave patches a try, X39? And somehow, uh, Knowing that there's not much choices left, I, I, I agreed to it. And then we started patching. So I started patching. Uh, at that time, we didn't know much about the product. We only pa I only patched the X39 okay, at the back of my neck. And also the glucotion, which is the master an antioxidant patch. Okay, So with only these two patch, I, and I put it uh, just uh, behind my neck. Both patch I put behind my neck because when I put glucotion in my belly button, it was tremendously itchy because I actually I have a, a eczema based kind of skin. So with, with that, uh, six months later, uh, I, because I told the doctor that I didn't want to go for the procedure, right? So he, he gave me another appointment six months later. So I was, uh, on the patches. Okay. Glucotion and X39 for six months. Before I went back and checked, and that was, uh, I think, it was in uh, the review was in April, April of twenty twenty two. Okay, so with that, I went there, and then he 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 said, "Oh, your your readings are good. Uh, I I'm gonna discharge you." So I was pretty shocked, in the sense that I mean, I I I, I like to hear what I hear, but to tell me that I, he's gonna discharge me uh, gave me a sense of uh, also fear. Uh, fear and happiness at the same time. So I said, "You, why don't you you give me another three months appointment later? Then let me find out whether it's really uh, uh I'm I'm really free, right?" But he said, "No need lah. The results is very good, so you you don't need." And he wasn't really uh going to entertain me. Maybe partly because I keep on rejecting him, and there are a load of people with cancer outside, uh, outside the 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 the, the office, right? So uh, he quickly pushed me away, and he gave me appointment. Uh, one year later, okay, and uh, uh, happy to report to you that one year later, which was just April a few months ago, uh, I went and checked and still confirmed that I am cancer free. Wow! Yeah, yeah. Thank so God. I'm so happy, so happy, and uh, I thank God and I told God that I would uh, share to as many people as I can, and with that, uh, not only did this uh, prostate cancer go away. I also found that in the in these twenty two months, uh, okay, about almost two years really, uh, I find a uh, little 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 things happening to me, which is uh, really I never been it's so healthy before actually. Although I'm uh, sixty five this year, okay, and uh, things like uh, my my uh, fingernails right. 
become very strong. Okay, I, I did joke with people that actually my old finger uh, nail cutter right actually broke when I when I started cutting <laughs> it. Yeah. So and uh, another thing is that uh, okay, I also after uh, when they launched the X49, I also added X49 later on after the six month actually. Okay. And I also noticed my hair also grow very fast, very long, which uh, a lot of my friends, uh, James and all, say, yeah, every time I, I keep seeing your hair grow so fast, okay? So hair also grow very, very fast, uh, uh, has a little uh, bit of black turning up, not a lot, not as much as James, okay? And the other thing is, uh, okay, also the hair also doesn't drop very much, right? When you wash your hair, uh, nothing nothing much goes to the gutter. Previously, it was a lot of hair that gutter where I had to take and remove it. And also uh, floaters, eye floaters. Okay, uh, I used to, when I see the sunlight very bright, right? I used to always see floaters floating around. Nowadays, it, I don't see any more floaters already. Okay, and last but not the least, uh, which I'm most helpful, uh, ha happy is that the uh, when I now I can go to uh the, the toilet smoothly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Jin Long recently did the MVA and said uh very important to go to the toilet every morning, right? Now I can do it very smoothly and I'm so happy. And uh okay, and those days at nights, right? I used to wake up about maybe three, four times to go to the toilet to pee. Now I, I don't even have to wake up. I will sleep right through. And when I even when I wake up, I, I, I don't go to the toilet so I can just lie in bed, rest a while. Okay. I feel like when I'm ready to go out, I'll wake up, then I can then I can go to the toilet. So it's it's I think for a lot of people my age, right? You all know how it feels to wake up in the night three, four times right, to go to the toilet. Yeah. Okay, that is my sharing. Thank you everybody. Wow.